this is a KTM 890 Adventure R. Is this the best adventure bike you can get? Let's have a look into it. If you're looking for a really serious travel capable off-road motorcycle, the KTM 890 Adventure R is arguably one of the best bikes out there. Let's delve right in and do the numbers. It is an 889cc liquid-cooled parallel twin engine based on the Duke 890 but in a different state of tune. This bike delivers 105 bhp at 8000 rpm, that is 10% less power than the Duke. However, you get higher torque at 100 newton meters delivered at 6500 rpm. It is 4 valves per cylinder with a double overhead cam, just like the 890 Duke. It has lightened forged pistons and the V-shaped connecting rods reduce reciprocating mass. At the same time, it is a 20% heavier crankshaft that improves lower RPM throttle response and dual balancer shafts reduce vibration. The bike does a 0 to 100 in 3.7 seconds, which is impressive considering the extra weight and the knobby tires. Top speed is 210 km an hour or 130 miles per hour. There is a horizontally split crankcase as we have also seen on the Duke 890R made from high pressure cast aluminum with thinner walls resulting in a lighter mass. It comes with a 6-speed gearbox combined with a cable operated slipper clutch or the power assist clutch as KTM prefers to call it, which is so important especially when you're going off-road for heavy braking and downshifts doing high speeds. We'll talk about braking later in the video. This motorcycle weighs in at 196 kilos dry or 431 pounds which is expected since it is an adventure bike. Wet weight is 210 kilos or 462 pounds. Still pretty light. Tank capacity is 20 liters or 5.3 US gallons, giving you a range of 400 plus kilometers or 250 plus miles, which is a pretty long ride before you take a break. I like the way the tank is designed, getting the center of gravity much lower than regular motorcycles. That is indeed quite a unique tank design. The frame was designed for a mix of long street and off-road rides. It's a stiff chromium molybdenum steel alloy frame under which the engine is hanging as a stressed member to make the bike compact with great handling on-road as well as pretty good off-road. The swing arm is die-cast open lattice that is a signature mark of KTM street bikes. It is optimized for stiffness, delivering excellent stability with a direct link to the rear shock. The wheels. Being a true adventure motorcycle, it has 21-inch wheels in the front and 18-inch wheels at the rear for hardcore adventure exploration. Fitted with Continental Adventure TKC80 tires, which are tubeless, it gives you full confidence to go riding into an adventurous wilderness. Suspension is a strong point of all KTM motorcycles, and this one is no exception. It gets the WP Explore Independent Function 48mm inverted cartridge front forks that has rebound and compression adjustability to help you find that exact sweet spot, taking into account bike weight, rider weight, and the roads that you're going to tackle. Front suspension travel is 240mm, that is 10 inches. Rear suspension is also a WP Explore with a progressive damping system, typical of KTM again, which is fully adjustable with compression, rebound, and hydraulic preload. Rear suspension travel is 240mm, also 10 inches. You get a WP steering damper attached to the triple clamps to give you added stability to your ride when you're doing higher speeds on tarmac or off-road. KTM puts special emphasis on the design of the triple clamps and in this case they are made of high strength forged aluminium to provide excellent stability and enough flex to transfer feedback from the chassis to the rider. Let me show you how I sit on the bike. I'm 165 cm or 5 or 6 inches and the seat height is 880mm or 30.6 inches. That can be a challenging seat height for someone of my stature. As you can see, I barely reach the ground. But with experience, that should not matter. I always maintain that a bike is made for its intended purpose and not for the person riding it. The seat is a single rally inspired seat designed for freedom of movement, grip and long days on the saddle. KTM says that the two-piece seat of the 890 Adventure Street version can also fit on this if you're looking for more comfort. The footpegs are designed for both off-road and street experiences with removable rubber inserts. Ground clearance is 263mm or more than 10 inches. Combined with 21 inch front wheel, this is what an adventure bike should be like. Rider aids on this bike are amazing. Motorcycle traction control has separate controllers to measure rear wheel slippage and lean angle pitch to calculate the optimal amount of traction required for specific terrain and situation. Of course, if you are adventurous, you can turn it off completely. Let us talk about braking. It is a KTM proprietary radial mounted 4 piston calipers on 320mm double disc at the front. The braking can have a little more bite in my opinion. The rear brake is also a KTM proprietary two-piston caliper on a 260mm disc. It has cornering ABS which distributes pressure after measuring the lean angle of the motorcycle. 
You also have off-road ABS, wherein the rear ABS is switched off and there is minimal intrusion on the front brake for the rider to lock up the rear to steer into corners with better control. There's also off-road ride mode that reduces power on tricky terrains. Depending upon the kind of terrain, the BHP is cut down through the ECU, throttle response is softened, wheel slippage is increased and that lets the rider have more control on loose surfaces. That is when the lean angle traction control is switched off not to interfere with the rider's control of negotiating the rut with the throttle. And then you get the optional rally pack and it will open up a plethora of possibilities. Shout out to the channel Adventures of Things. Hey Michael, I think this bike could be ideal for you to go discover awesome places and have some incredible adventures. At US$14,599, this is at a lucrative price point since I personally cannot find too much fault with the bike. Service interval is a huge 15,000 kilometers or 9,300 miles. That itself talks about the reliability of the motorcycle. This might be the ideal bike for Michael Paul Wright for Adventures of Things. Have a look into it. Might be even better than the 1290 Adventure R.